Hey, Jason Maxwell here from JMAX Fitness, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you about daily undulating periodization, also known as DUP. So, I first heard of DUP through a guy named Mike Samuels, and Mike Samuels runs Healthy Living, Heavy Lifting. It's an awesome site. And he started writing a little bit about DUP, and I was intrigued. And at the time, Mike was already writing articles for JMAX Fitness, my own site. So I messaged him real quick, and I was like, hey, Mike, dude, you gotta write an article about DUP. And he was like, yeah, sure, man, I'd love to. And he was using it a lot with himself and his clients, and then his coach, Lane Norton, was getting him to use it in his own programming. So I was very intrigued. So Mike sent me this badass article, it was awesome teaching everything that you really have to know, the basics behind DUP. So that's what I'll share with you today. So with DUP, you're switching your sets and reps for your lifts daily. And the best part about DUP is people use it to get stronger. And the reason I wanted to learn more about DUP from Mike is because when you're stronger, it's easier to lose fat. When you're stronger, it's easier to build muscle. And when you're stronger, you just look badass in the gym. Now, why is strength so important? Well, you see, strength is the foundation of everything you do in the weight room. It's so important. Think about this logically for a second. When you're stronger, you're able to lift more weight. When you're able to lift more weight, you can burn more calories during your workout. That's for fat loss. When you can lift more weight, you can put more, tensions in the mu more tension in your muscles, which means it's easier to build muscle. It's a proven fact, you need strength. So daily undulating periodization, you change your sets and reps daily. So for instance, let's say you have a strength day, a power day, and a hypertrophy day. So hypertrophy is muscle building. So you would have one lift and have three days of lifting, a strength day, hypertrophy day, and a power day. So you're training essentially high frequency training. So let's say you're deadlifting and on your strength day you do four sets of four. Maybe that's Monday. Wednesday, you deadlift again, but you do your power day. Let's say it's five sets of three, trying to be explosive. Beautiful. Then on your third day, let's say Friday, you deadlift for hypertrophy, let's say four sets of eight. Four sets of eight on the deadlift, are brutal by the way. So you're essentially using high frequency training to get stronger. And here's the funny thing about high frequency training. Your body is very capable of lifting heavy weights. Um, to tell you the truth, your muscles are a lot stronger than your brain thinks they are. So when you're lifting to get stronger, you're essentially telling your muscle, hey, we need to use that force that you have all that potential for. It's kind of funny. You ever hear the story about the woman who gets in a car crash, the car falls on top of her kids, and for some reason she gets this incredible strength, picks up the car, lets the kids come out, and she would never be able to do it again? It's because your body physically tells, your brain physically tells your body, hey, I don't want to use the maximum potential of the muscle. I don't want to be able to use that force because you're probably just going to go crazy with it and break a bone or break your elbow, break your joint, something like that. So it's your body's protection mechanism. Your body does not want, your brain does not want your body to use its full potential in strength or else you could get injured. It's just a protection mechanism. So with strength training and DUP and the frequency of lifting the weight over and over again, physically or mentally nulls this it dulls this uh, sensation, dulls the communication to your brain and it's telling your body, okay, you know what, the body's starting to be able to, capable, maybe if we increase the strength here, um, you won't get hurt. So you're physically training your brain over and over and over again by doing the movement over and over and over again and that's dulling the response and dulling your brain, telling your body preventing your body from hurting itself, and that's how you're able to get crazy strong using DUP. So, 
With high frequency training, you're probably wondering, well, if it's strength training, why don't I just get stronger and train in the strength range every single day? And that's a great question. That's probably something you're wondering right now. The thing is, with DUP, it allows you to train different strength qualities and everything um, works together to get stronger. And the second part behind this is recovery. So if you're lifting for max strength every single day, you're going to get burnt out and it's going to take a toll on your central nervous system. That's fine, some guys can handle this longer than others. But with DUP, you're changing the intensity so you're allowing your body to recover from one strength quality while you move on and train to the other strength quality. So let's say on the first day you're training for strength, you train for strength, and as your body is recovering from that strength quality, you then go and you'll use, um, let's say, a power day. So then you do your power day and your body starts recovering for, from that power quality, and then while it's recovering, you can work on your hypertrophy. And it's just a way of cycling through. The research is showing that daily undulating periodization is working great. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe down here. And I put together some more info on DUP and daily undulating periodization, teaching you how to get stronger with DUP. If you're interested in that, click here and you'll learn more about that. So I'm Jason Maxwell from JMAX Fitness and I'll see you next time.